Uh, I'm here with Sizwe, one of the most famous faces on MTV Base. Sizwe, how does working for MTV Base feel like? Oh man, that's the best job in the world right there. I wouldn't be doing anything else to be quite honest. Um, I love it. Um, I love working for MTV. I've been with us or the network pretty much since the beginning. Uh, I was the first ever MTV VJ in Africa. Uh, and I've seen the channel go from strength to strength. I've seen us go from when we were then to where we are now. And um, I've got to say, to get to a point where we're in Ghana right now, uh, and we're doing the third installment of MTV making the video with Shell, it's a proud moment. Well, you've been working on videos most, mostly. Would you say the quality of African movies are improving with time? Oh, absolutely. Um, I say this with the most sincere of hearts, basically. Um, when we started off, there weren't a lot of African videos, and I'm just talking in general, because we reached 48 countries. There weren't a lot of African videos that we could play on our channel. Uh, and anybody will tell you, in terms of standards or quality, we set the bar the highest. Okay, um, and as time has progressed, it's almost like every video we get now is good enough for us to go. Um, I've seen videos go from literally to videos that we couldn't put on air ever, to videos that we now put on high rotation. So, what do you consider when you're selecting videos to air on MTV? Oh man, there's a lot that we consider when selecting videos. Um, technically, the video's got to be sound. So how the video shots, the lighting. Um, I mean, directors will, will tell you all about it, but they mustn't. They basically mustn't be uh, an overflush of images. Not too much white. Images mustn't be burned out. That's the first thing. Secondly, um, what the song addresses can't be an offensive message. Thirdly, the images in the video can't be offensive because you've got terrestrial partners. It's the onus is on us to put out. I guess, responsible program. We can't go out there and put out irresponsible images and just say, hey, it's not our video. We MTV at the end of the day, even though we like good music, we must also be responsible about it. So those are some of the things that we consider. And also, when you send a video to us, we will sit down and watch a video and we'll critique it. We'll tell you exactly what's wrong and why we can't accept that video. If you're an artist and you want to go back and re-edit that video and resubmit it, you're more than welcome to. I work in the acquisition department. What I'm talking about is stuff that we do. And we tend to see more of uh, videos from South Africa and Nigeria. Is it because the, co the quality of videos from those countries are superior to that? I wouldn't say the quality of those videos is superior, but the input that we get from those countries is superior. Now, let me put it to you this way. It all depends on the market. We, I guess, are in a fortunate and unfortunate position at the same time because we reach 48 countries in Africa. We're the only MTV that reaches a continent as opposed to just one country. And as I'm sure you can imagine, it becomes very difficult to cater to each and every one of those regions equally. In Nigeria, where they've got a larger population, we may get maybe 100 videos a month from them. However, in Ghana, we only get maybe 10 videos a month. So the ratio speaks for itself. It'll be a 10 to 1 ratio. Once you put them on air, it's not, we're not able to give the same spins to Ghana as we would to Nigeria because Nigeria simply hands us more videos. Uh, it's not because of the quality, whatever video's quality that you send to us, we'll play, ir irrespective of where it comes from. And also, if you notice our playlist, we don't play videos according to where they come from. We just play videos according to the genre of music. That's how we do our program. And apart from music, there's other content on MTV. And Absolutely. Even in those content, let's say Ghana has not been fairly represented, because we don't see so many programs from Ghana that could... Again, I have to disagree with that. Look at the show for making the video. The first time we ever did it, we came to Ghana. Ghana only, and nowhere else. You didn't see any countries complaining that about that. I, I, no, no, no. <laughs> you didn't see any countries complaining about that, did you? Well, it was a start, so you okay. have to start from somewhere. Okay, fine. And then when we did Player, mm -hmm. we came over here to Ghana for the first season. We came to Ghana for a second season. We just came to Ghana for the third season now because Player is about to start again. You see? Here we are again, show making the video. Third season, we back for the third time. The only thing we haven't done in Ghana that we've done in other countries is the VJ search. And that in itself is coming to Ghana. Fine. Can't say when, but it's coming to Ghana. There's also the, the Music Awards, MTV Africa Music yeah. Awards coming. What should people expect from that? Oh man, let me put it to you this way. For years now, three years to be precise, since we launched we've had the African category at the EMAs. Last year, Samini was nominated. We got to roll with them. We went to Germany. It was great. This year, we've got the African Music Awards. Strictly in Africa, for Africans. 
what people can expect is the very same quality of awards only in our continent. And talking about the awards, wouldn't it be a problem like with this region, different region, like giving a fair representation to every music from across other regions? Oh no, that's not a problem at all. We've got an academy that votes for the videos that they want. What we do is we go out to our viewers and we select a certain number of people from each region, an equal amount. And all those people form a panel, they come together and they vote for the videos that they want. The same way we've been doing the EMAs in the past. So this is a very fair representation. It's not going to be difficult at all. Alright, so what, how is Player Season 3 going to be like? Oh man, Player Season 3 it's bigger and better. As I mentioned to you, we went to Ghana, we went to Kenya, we went to Nigeria, I went to New York, we went to London, um, damn, South Africa. Um, we went to pretty much all the major regions. It's, it's, it's that major. 25th of September, look out for the first episode. Good. And uh, talking about making the video, MTV making the video, is there any way you could put the series on the other networks, like the American networks, European networks? I mean, look, we've got Anthony Mandler. Mm -hmm. Anthony Mandler is a major director. He's already the likes of Beyonce, every major artist out there. This guy is possibly one of the biggest video directors in the US right now. Now, once you've got that content, I see no reason why the US wouldn't want to play it. You see? Because it's got Anthony Mandler in it. And I think that's, again, that's a testament to what we're able to do as MTV. No other channel can do that. But because of our international ties, we can. And that's why we're proud to say we're the best music network on the continent. Simple. I think channel will disagree, but that's the problem. Anyway, thank you very much. Pleasure, sir. Nice. Pleasure.